This is the River Tour in the north of Canton Zurich, in its renaturalized state. It's about 127 kilometers long, and its source is the peak of Mount Sentis. This is how it used to look. The Tour was among many Swiss rivers that were canalized over the past two centuries as part of flood protection schemes. Putting the river in a straitjacket allowed for the expansion of agriculture and urban populations, but wildlife suffered, and the problem of flooding grew even worse. The main idea was to, to save the land outside, the agricultural land outside, and to make the water flowing without destruction straight down the river. The river repeatedly burst its artificial banks and inundated the village of Elikon. The water levels are recorded on the side of the restaurant here. Something had to be done to improve the water protection plan for the area while promoting biodiversity. Christian Guldi spearheaded the project to renaturalize the river, which started back in 1989. The concrete banks were removed and stone piers or groins were inserted at regular intervals. So between the groins, the river can erode some part and the river can also deposit some material between. These workmen are digging out a pond fed by river water, intended for frogs and ducks. They've also been excavating the banks near the forest to help the river in its widening process. The woods will be flooded more frequently because of the removal of concrete banks and a different kind of wetlands flora and fauna will develop here. These willows are being cut from the banks of the Tour and will be placed alongside its tributaries where they'll take root and act as natural flood barriers. Here in Elikon, new dams and floodplains have been created, as well as a mobile dam system. We could not make monastery uh, walls, but that's why we have made a, a mobile system. This concrete wall goes into the earth about 1 meter 50, and when there is a high flood, we, uh, the fire brigade can place mobile uh, walls to protect against the water coming from the Rhine side. The renaturalization has already had a positive effect on wildlife. A fish called the Nasa and birds such as the kingfisher and the little ringed plover have resettled here as well as beavers. They've been busy chopping down trees for winter fodder. The revitalized river withstood the flood of 1999 with very little damage caused locally. The unrestricted river, with its natural banks and dams, was much better able to carry away increased volumes of water. For Christian Goldi, who's invested 30 years of his working life in this project, it's a complete success. We have a more dynamic river. We hope that many more people will enjoy the natural situation of the tour. <laughs>